Tesla supercharger is probably one of the best features that Tesla customers get when they get their cars. Now, I know the cars are amazing, but the fact that you can supercharge, which is a fast charge their cars, especially when they're traveling, is something that really no other manufacturer has right now. So a lot of people kind of doubting whether or not they want to buy uh, an electric car from uh, another manufacturer, where it's a startup like Byton or a legacy, a manufacturer like Mercedes, Audi, Kia, and so forth. But there's some good news, and I have to say, this was kind of, uh, uh, I, I, I wasn't keeping track of this, and, and today and yesterday I saw some news and press releases about it, and I gotta tell you, uh, Electrify America, the fast charging network that's growing here in the United States, um, now in Europe, well, where I'm at right now, I'm actually in uh, Mar uh, Marbella, Spain, I'm here for a few days to test drive the Audi e-tron, and that's why, as you can see, I'm, it's a different background, which I kind of digging. Uh, hopefully you're digging it as well, uh, having a bit of a different sort of a background. Um, so uh, here in Europe, they have Ionity, which is also a fast charging uh, network that's growing. Uh, but the Electrify America United States, and I have a couple of different videos from the California locations, um, is actually finally hit 100 locations uh, throughout the United States. Now that's a pretty big number. Granted, they kind of just started building out their network. Let me also remind you that um, the, uh, the, uh, the speed at which you can charge there uh, is much, much higher than the Tesla superchargers. Now, of course, we know that uh, uh, Tesla will be coming up with their version 3 superchargers, and we're still guessing that it's not going to be as fast as a higher rate charging um, as Electrify America. But nevertheless, uh, the Electrify America can charge you up to, uh, on up to 350 kilowatts. Um, granted, there is no car out there right now. Uh, the, the Audi e-tron will, uh, will be able to take up to 150 kilowatts. And not, only, not until uh, Porsche Taycan is out, we will be able to see a real 350 kilowatt charging rate, um, if we're lucky, of course. Before I go any further, and by the way, let me give you some numbers and why this is so significant compared to Tesla's. Let me remind you of this uh, video. And this channel is sponsored by Starman Gifts, uh, the home of the adventures of Starman. I actually brought this copy with me here to here to here to Spain. I know uh, I know Starman has traveled around around our um, around our galaxy for a little bit, but Spain is not a bad place for him to be. By the way, if you don't own this one, go ahead and grab the discount from the description of this video. Uh, and there are quite a few other things you can check out in that store, and that discount code will work with all of it. All right, so thank you to StarmanGifts.com. Um, yeah, so they've reached 100, uh, um, now let me let me make it clear, it's 100 locations, and in each locations they have on average between four or five actual stalls. Um, also, it's not you know worth noticing that uh, most of these, and uh, definitely the ones that can charge at 150 kilowatts uh, to 350 kilowatts, they require your car to have a CCS plug, which not all cars have. So if you're shopping for a new electric car, I strongly, strongly recommend it to make sure that it actually has a CCS fast charging port. Now, for those of you who drive an e-Golf, and I think it's a BMW i3 and a few other ones, you can already charge at those stations, Electrify America stations. It's not cheap, it's anywhere between 30 to 35 cents per uh, minute of charging, and I believe there's a, a one a dollar initiation fee per session. Um, the, the faster you charge, though, the, the, the more you get for your money. Now, there's 100 locations now, uh, that they have right now but by july by the end of july actually by the end of june so by july 1st they're promising to have almost 500 total locations in the united states now in comparison tesla has you know about 1200 1300 locations right now in the us so they have really going to be catching up pretty fast to to tesla supercharger locations and to be fair uh superchargers have more than four or five uh, stalls per uh, per location but of course there won't be that many cars um, that can take the CCS charge and just electric non-Tesla cars out there for a while so this ratio is actually going to work this hundred locations uh, will be probably serving uh, the American community pretty well so of course, uh, you know, as we found out from uh, the last Q4 earnings call from Tesla, 80% of all electric cars uh, that were purchased last year were Teslas due to obviously Model 3 ramp up and a very, very successful uh, sales cycle. But um, nevertheless, people who are buying, like myself, who are buying non-Teslas this year, next year, will have a pretty decent infrastructure 
for the long distance char uh, uh, fast charging that we really didn't have before. And again, even I didn't really kind of keep track of this and I, I just didn't realize how fast they build it out. Of course, I'm also following the Ionity here in, the, in Europe and they're building out their networks pretty fast. By the way, it just, it doesn't happen very quickly. They have to negotiate uh, the deals, not only with just to purchase the land or lease the land, there are a lot of different permits that are involved that they have to get. As I talked to uh, both Ionity and Electrify America sources um, and my, 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 my contacts there, they saying, you know what, we want to go faster, but you know, we can only go as fast as all of these contracts, you know, uh, um, approvals and bureaucracy can go. Um, now, by the end of this year, we are really going to see something amazing as far as the infrastructure is concerned. I'm really, really excited. Kind of took my eye off the ball, I guess, here. But now that I've read all these press releases and um, in this uh, uh, articles uh, as I was here um, in, in Europe, I'm, I'm, I'm even more excited than before. Let me know in the comment section if this is something that will actually make you consider a non-Tesla car, um, that now the infrastructure is actually almost in place there. Uh, let me know if that's the main deciding point for you when you're considering your next electric car. All right, guys, uh, it's almost midnight here. I got to get on my plane in only a few hours to fly back to California. So next time you see me, I will be once again in my studio. Other than that, see you guys next time. And remember to stay charged.